What's up, music nerds? This is Jason Herbold, a.k.a. Orber, back again with another Logic Pro tip. Last time I showed you how you can add custom filters to your drum tracks and give them original sounds for breakdowns and transitions. This time we're going to do more or less the same thing, but instead of applying effect plugins to sampled sounds, I'm going to show you how you can achieve similar results to tracks already in your project. We can achieve this by using buses, one of the most fundamental and powerful tools in sound mixing. Now, don't be afraid of words like busing or auxiliary if you're not familiar with them. The idea here is super simple. All we're doing is sending the audio from multiple tracks to one single track, and then using that track to manipulate all those sounds at once. It's not hard to imagine how this would be useful. Imagine, for example, that you wanted to fade out all of your drum kit sounds at once, or maybe you want to add a temporary echo to all of your background vocals. You can achieve all this and more with busing. Not only can you apply plugins to multiple tracks, you can control the parameters of those plugins with automation on the bus track. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate for you here today. Okay, so this is the beat that I used in my 2021 single, Drunken Noodles. Before I show you how you can use these buses to achieve automated effects on multiple tracks, I'm going to walk you through how this was all set up in the first place. You can see I've got a muted clap track at the bottom. This is a newly added track that has no busing or plugins. So to demonstrate how to get this process started, I'm going to bring my mouse over to the clap track on the left and click on the output button. Right now the button says stereo out because that's where the track's audio is going, but we can send it anywhere we want, including a new bus track. So I'm going to click the output button, go down to bus, and click on an unused bus. I'll pick bus 7 at random. Now I'll press the X key to open the mixer view and scroll over to the new auxiliary track that was just created by sending my clap to bus 7. Now when I play the clap track, we can see the audio is showing up on bus 7. I'm going to change the name of this track to Claps. And that's it. Now I can send all my Clap tracks to this bus and add whatever plugins I want to the channel. Okay, so now let's go back to my Drunken Noodles drum kit. As I step through the tracks, notice that all of the kit pieces are going to bus 2. If I hit the X key to return to the mixer view and play the beat again, we can see the drum kit audio showing up on bus 2. You can also see that I've got some plugins on that track to get my beat to sound just right. I'll turn them all off for a second so you can hear what the beat sounds like without any of these effects. Here comes the cool part. I can manipulate these plugins using automation on the bus track. In order to do that, I can select the track I want to automate, bus two in this case, and come over here to options and select create tracks for selected channel strips. Now, if we close the mixer view, we can see that there's a new track called beats. That's our bus track. It's called beats because that's the name I added to the bottom of my bus track in the mixer view. Now on the left, we can see the bus track and the stereo out track. Here's all the plugins I was just turning on and off a few seconds ago. I'm going to add a new plugin. I'll add a flange plugin. I like the resonator flange preset. Now, all of my drum kit sounds are getting sent to the flange plugin. But I don't want this effect running the whole time my song is playing. I only want it to come in for a second, then go away. I'll hit the A key to open the automation view, then select the flanger plugin, and finally the mix option. Now, when I tap on my track, a line appears that will control the flanger mix on this bus track. Right now it's all the way up, so I'm going to turn it down. Next, I'll add some control dots and set the flanger mix automation to briefly turn up and then back down again. And that's it. 
Now I can automate any plugin I want on my drum bus. I can control mute, volume, chorus, reverb, delay, distortion, custom VST plugins, or anything I want. Thank you for watching and happy producing.